Hey, kid. Right here, man. Are you still trying to cram in all your studying? Who are you? That's not important right now. Why, when it comes to studying, I'll bet you don't even know the six effective strategies. Well, now that you mention it, I... Of course you don't. That's why I'm here to help you ace that exam the right way. I'm going to take you back in time so you'll ever make this mistake again. Ready? Whoa, wait, what? Um, where are we? Why, you're in your room 10 days ago. If you're going to study the right way, this is when you should have started studying for your exam. The first strategy I want to go over with you is space practice. Yeah, isn't it when you space out your studying over time? No, silly. It's when you space out your studying over time. That's what I just- Normally, when using this technique, you want to make sure you're not crimming in your studying, but studying in short little sessions. For example, if you wanted to study for 5 hours in 2 weeks, an effective strategy would be to study for 1 hour every 2 days. That way the sessions are evenly spread out and it doesn't feel like you're forgetting any information. The second strategy is retrieval practice. Retrieval practice is when you practice bringing information back into your mind. A good way to recall information is by taking practice tests. That way you can see all the information you remember. The questions you get right is the stuff you nailed on. All the questions you get wrong, you might need to review again. Hey, this is great and all, but I gotta know, like, why do I need all these strategies? I mean, can I just focus on one strategy and use it through the rest of my life? Like, I don't understand how and why these work. Well done, sir. You just used the third effective strategy to study. Elaboration. You're just going to ignore my question. In order to elaborate, you want to ask yourself questions while you are studying about why and how these things work. As you think of these questions, try to make connections between two different ideas. For example, let's think of two very different types of people, DJs and bank robbers. They are both different professions with different sets of skills. But if we elaborate, we can find they have some similarities. Okay, now to review. What are the three strategies we just went over? Well, you have elaboration, where you practice explaining and describing ideas with many details. You have spaced practice, where you space out your studying over time. And you have retrieval practice, where you practice bringing information back into your mind. Good job. You may not have known it, but secretly, we have been doing the fourth effective strategy this entire time. Really? That's right. And it's called interleaving. Interleaving is switching between ideas while you study. What I just had you do was go back to the ideas in a different order to better help understand yourself. Previously, I taught him the information in the order of spaced practice, retrieval, practice, and elaboration. Then when I asked him to go over it, he said the strategy is in a different order. This helped strengthen his understanding of new information. While it's good to switch between ideas often, try not to switch too often because you need to make sure you understand the information completely. The fifth learning strategy is called concrete examples. No, dummy, not that type of concrete. Concrete examples are when you use specific examples to understand abstract ideas. You can find concrete examples by collecting examples your professor makes in class, searching your books and notes for additional examples, and you can even find examples around you as you go by your day. But watch out because some examples on the internet aren't always reliable. Well, you've done it. We've made it to the last strategy. Are you ready? Sure, I guess. That's the spirit. The last strategy is dual coding. Dual coding is the process of combining visual information with verbal information. This can work in two ways. One way is to look at visuals and explain them in your own words. That's a dog. The other way is to take information that you're learning and create visuals with it. Well, I hope you learned something from this lesson plan. You know, I really did. Thank you so much for your help. Sure thing, bud. That'll be $50. What? Oh, I didn't think I was going to be charged for this. What? You thought I was going to teach you this for free? I got a family to feed, you know. Man, I ain't helping you. I will break your PS5. Alright, so that's 10, 20...